They let me pick. Did I ever tell you that? Choose whichever Spartan I wanted. You know me. I did my research. Watched as you became the soldier we needed you to be. Like the others, you were strong and swift and brave. A natural leader. But you had something they didn't. Something no one saw but me. Can you guess? Luck. Was I wrong? This ain't good. Damn. How far did he fall? Two kilometers. Easy. Stay sharp. Foreman? His armor's locked up. Gel layer could have taken most of the impact. I don't know, Sergeant Major. for Vitor. Heavy lift gear. We're not leaving him here. Yeah, you're not. Oh, crazy fool. Why do you always jump? One of these days, you're gonna land on something as stubborn as you are. And I don't do bits and pieces. Where is she, Chief? Where's Cortana? Don't make a girl a promise, if you know you can't keep it. She stayed behind. Corporal, make it quick. Sorry, sir. Your armor's still in partial lockdown. Look up here, sir. Okay. Now down here? Good. Everything checks out, Sergeant Major. Kick off the training wheels, Corporal. He's good to go. Chief, wait! The Arbiter's with us! Come on now. We've got enough to worry about without you two trying to kill each other. Were it so easy? We must go. The brutes have our scent. And they must love the smell of green. All right, howdy there, party people, and welcome to Halo 3. That was quite the lengthy introduction, but now we're back in the Spartan in the Mjolnir armor, ready to kick some Covenant ass. So I'm playing this on normal, as you can see in the top right, and then also in the dialogue. Because depending on the uh, the difficulty, Johnson will say different things. You know, when he's like, when they must love the smell of green. I think it's on heroic that he says, like, they must love the smell of badass. And, like, stuff like that. But here we are, uh, completing our next chapter in the Halo series. So, previously on Halo, uh, we did play ODST most recently. But this, obviously, is the direct sequel to Halo 2. Uh, at the time between 2 and 3, I think it's like 2 weeks, so Master Chief was on the ship where Truth was, and he actually tries to assassinate him several times, but he miss but he keeps, like, messing up. So now, we've crashed back on Earth, and it's time to finish this fight. So, uh, the co or I was going to say the Covenant. The Elites have joined our side, because they don't want to die. 
And Chief having some PTSD because he left Cortana behind on high charity. Now the Covenant have found Earth and they're kind of just fully invading the place. Red out, you will. Find them. They found heavy grenades. It's like so Halo 3 is probably the one I've played the most. And like I know this like the back of my hand. Um and I do love like even though I've played it a million times, it's always great to like just sit down and do like something like this like cuz I obviously enjoy making these videos. But like I do get it just a chance to like sit down like by myself. Wow, I just killed all of them with one shot. Uh, to just sit down and like really focus on the story and like what's going on like kind of like replaying it it's kind of like this is my second playthrough almost because like i'm actually paying attention more than just playing with friends and like fucking around so yep so i know where all the secrets are it's like i just found the skull secret skull in the game or in the level actually i should say there's another skull in this level i want to say it's legendary only though uh i remember back in the day uh, the rumor was that uh, the skull was an instant kill. It is not, as you just saw. Um, hello there. Boom. So this is... I don't know what series this will be this year, but it's a brand new year, everybody. So I have a lot of stuff planned for this year to cover. Um, Infinite is coming out at the end of this year, so you know what that means. Gotta cover the whole story before we get there. Which means we got to cover three, four, five, and then I am doing Halo Wars and Halo Wars 2. So, yeah. But let's just focus on the here and now. Yeah. So we got to get to the evac site because Chief just crashed on Earth. Literally just did a whole funny jump from space on the door of the ship. Uh, and actually, if you were to go and take the fire effect off when he's, like, crashing, uh, he's actually there. It's not just, like, a fireball effect. Like, he's actually... In the animation. Oh, they actually rendered him in there. Right, I'm just gonna drop this. Boom. Boom, baby. As uh, the great Cusco once said. Oh, no one up here. I was like, last time I played this, like Halo 3, was probably when I was uh, doing or attempting lasso with my friends. I've already beaten Lasso on Halo 3, but one of my other friends, um, so I was playing with Josh, and then our friend Bill hasn't been in yet, and we've been going through all the, the Lassos, at least the ones that we can do at, uh, 343, because, um, sorry, Arbiter, uh, because we can't do one or two, because those aren't, uh, four-player co-op, they're only two players. Um, oh. I'm gonna save you. There we go. Excuse me. Oh, chieftain. Phantom. Pinned this down. Killed my men. Don't worry, bud. We're gonna avenge your men. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah. So, uh, I've already beaten this on lasso. Probably one of the better ones, honestly. Halo 4 is, like, the shortest Halo level-wise. So that was fun. Or I guess that was a bit easier. But, like, the levels are much longer, so it's, like, the trade-off. But since we were the most familiar with this game, we kind of went through pretty smoothly. But then trying to do it with more people is kind of rougher because there's iron. The iron skull makes it so, in co-op, if somebody dies, you go to the last checkpoint no matter what. And then I've saw on solo, if you're a maniac, uh, iron will restart the level for you if you die. So that's why it's better to do it on a co-op. Uh, we were trying to do it, and I think we got to like the second level. I don't think we. Oh no, I think we did beat the game actually on lasso. So yeah, that wasn't that bad. But we've also done reach. I've basically done all the games lasso in the Master Chief Collection, except for um, two and one. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of Halo 1. I think I probably voiced this in, um, when we played it. What was that? Oh, it's a BR. I'll take that. Oh, no. Oh, 
Oh, we gotta save Johnson now. Yep, it's me, the demon. Blorg. Um, so yeah, basically just OP now, especially since we're on uh, normal, which is what I play on for the other games as well, because I want to like, obviously not put it on easy, but just to have like, that, it's just kind of like, because it's normal, I don't know, I don't know what you want from me, because <laughs> uh, it's just to, you know, play through the story and not have it be like, babying or anything. Thank you. All right, no sniper. I was like, because uh, since we're not playing on lasso, I'm like having like to check everything to make sure that. Uh, Hurry. Back into the jungle. Sure thing. I was like, now we're teamed up with Arbiter. We're teamed up with Keith. Can you hear? My bird's down. Half a click down. Your position. Snipers in the trees. go. What's up, Keith? Oh, yeah, up here is the funny monkey family. Oh, wait. Did they remove them? Just remember the funny monkey family was there. Okay, that's kind of weird. Come on, you the mapes. You want breakfast? You gotta catch it. You gotta catch it. I can quote this, this game like verbatim. Like, if I could just speak... I could quote this game verbatim. Uh, it's kind of like my video game version of uh, Revenge of the Sith. If I can quote the fuck out of that movie. I was like, yeah. So we're basically just trying to regroup. Um, and Johnson saved us, but now we gotta save Johnson. And this is like the end of the trilogy, honestly. Like Halo Four, like starts the new arc in Halo. Sniper, I'm gonna grab that. There we go. No arbiter. Excuse me. And what was really awesome about this game that's not in a lot of games is like, so arbiter is the player too. So if you were to have like, oh shit. Right, never mind, he killed himself. Uh, if we played on co-op, Player 2 wouldn't be, like, another Master Chief like it is in, you know, Halo 1 and 2. Because since we have the Arbiter as, like, our sidekick, or I call him, well, he's kind of, like, our equal. Um, because if you replace Player 2, you'd play as Arbiter. And then after that, you would just play as, like, other elites. Uh, I coined uh, the, the third player, like, the third elite, that you, or, like, the third player. So the first, uh, like, extra elite, his name's uh, Flipnorp. Um, but, so, he'll play as Arbiter, and he'll actually be in the cutscenes. See how they bait their trap? I will help you sprint. Like, what's really crazy, like, this game, like, I just think it's so crazy, like, because, like, so you can actually skip that cutscene and just start shooting as the animation's going on. Ooh, we went invincible. So yeah, that's a... I don't think we've encountered... Oh no, we have encountered him in ODST. Because they just took the assets from this game and put it in that one. So there's Chieftain. Big funny hammer man. Yep, there's a guy right there. But yeah, Arbiter will show up in cutscenes like alongside Chief. Like that. But like... Uh, since we're playing on solo, we won't see him that much. At least as much as I would like to. Yeah. You know, fun fact uh, that I'm very upset about is that... Alright, Hammerman's going to take a little bit more than I thought. Um, is that there's actually going to be a Halo, like, Mega Bloks video game. Since, like, Mega Bloks owns that license. Oh, no. Yep, he's dead now. Oh, forgot 
Not that I had the sniper. Um. Oh, I missed. Oh, I missed again. Fuck you. I actually got him. Um, there's actually gonna be a Mega Blocks, or like Mega Constructs, whatever, because now they changed it to like the more adult ones are Mega Constructs, and the more childish ones are Mega Blocks. Um, but there's actually gonna be a Mega Blocks like video game of Halo, like how they do with the Lego video games, but it's with Mega Blocks and Halo, and they're gonna have some goofy moments in it. A lot of it was like kind of finished. This isn't as fun as it looks. Cut the power. Oh, there's nobody here. We're even, as long as we're only counting. So, like, depending on the difficulty, there will actually be Marines in here to, like, help us. I'm assuming on easy, there's more of them. On, like, the other difficulties, there's at least people in there. I'm surprised that there's nobody in there this time. Uh, yeah. They're dropping off people. Uh, so, there was going to be a Mega Bloks one, but unfortunately, I think it was canceled and they never did it. But you can actually play some of it. Like, or there was a demo you can find on YouTube. Or at least there's a, a guy that like talks about it. Um, and I, I would I would play the fuck out of that game if they if they actually made it. Like it's just so unfortunate that it never came to be. Oh well, I'm out of my sniper, so here I go. Kill you. Nope, do not kill me. Oh, the ship got me. All right. First death of the series. I won't be the last. And it was level 1 and we're on normal, so please tell me how bad I am in the comments. But yeah, so, Halo Mega Bloks game, would play the fuck out of that, they should probably finish that. Uh, I would love it. So much. There we go. Of course, there's one guy left. There we go. Oh, didn't realize there were more. Come on. All right, now I'm getting pissed off. Oh, my God. All right. Now, like, come on. Now I just feel, like, so fucking stupid. Yep, there's some bad guys. Alright, the turret is overpowered now. I don't know what's happening. Boom. Like, fuck you. There we go. Holy shit. Thank you, Hocus. Nice. So you can actually like destroy phantoms in this game, which is awesome. Like whenever you want, if you have the ability to. Like if you have the weapons that can do it. Um, but, like, later on in, like, Halo 4 and stuff, you can do that, but, like, the destruction in that game is so bad, like, in here you actually have, like, all the pieces of the Phantom that blow up, but it's the end of the level, because we're off to the crow's nest. This is part one. Part two's up next. <laughs> Start of something wonderful. IFF confirmed. Contact is Bell and Dropship. Kilo 23, over. Roger that. What's the word, Kilo 23? Sierra 117 on board. Request priority clearance, over. That's yours. Come on down. 